Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am going to talk about the continuously growing inflation and some ways to treat it. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala khatimun nabiyyin. We observe that all people are not alike. Some are very rich while others are very poor. Some are busy in providing benefits to people while others are the opposite. So on this earth, some try to establish peace, safety and security while others try to fill up the land with corruption, lawlessness, chaos and bloodshed. Why are the same human beings so different? The answer is very clear. Some listen to their cautious, they keep their morale alert, they believe in the accountability, they fear the day of judgment, so they do good to humanity, while the others only listen to Satan and try to destroy humanity. The consequences are very bad. Now one consequence which people are facing in many countries is inflation. Every day the prices of the food articles are going up so that many poor people cannot buy food. How are the prices rising, prices rising up in every store as if all these things are happening wisely in a planned way? Who are behind this planning? What is the purpose of all this inflation? Why it cannot be controlled by the powerful authorities? We cannot answer these questions. But we can understand the result. That the needy people will either die of hunger or they will become aggressive and chaos and fighting will start which will result in bloodshed and destruction. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. So we must try our best to help the needy people. At this occasion, I address the Muslim authorities, I address the Muslim rich people, the Muslims millionaires and billionaires. I say, O oh Muslims who believe in the accounting of the Day of Judgment, who believe in the existence of hell and paradise, how can you live for the worldly gains only? How can you forget about the obligatory zakat, the charity, which is only 2.5% per, per year on your wealth, property, gold and silver, etc. Please do not forget that not giving of this obligatory zakat is equal to unbelief, that is kufr. Please remember that after the passing away of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam, some people had refused to pay the first zakat. And Abu Bakr Siddiq ho had fought against them until they paid the zakat, that is the obligatory charity. That was known as this whole, um, uh, this whole happening, this whole incident was known as fitna irtidad, which means that those people had become murtad. Murtad means apostate. So not paying obligatory zakat 2.5% per year on all wealth is apostasy. That means that such a rich Muslim who doesn't pay this obligatory zakat goes out of the fold of Islam. So he, she will go to hell forever. Therefore, all the rich Muslims come up with zakat, calculate zakat on your millions and billions and you are self-managed to buy food articles. Please don't give your zakat to different organizations, charity organizations. Please don't trust people. Stand up yourself with your zakat money. Buy food articles like flour, rice, sugar, lentils, etc. Many food articles, put them in tents and take the help of the governments. Take the help of police, TV, 
for our advertisement and announcement and call and invite all poor people to get free food articles. In this way, you will inshallah be able to defeat Satan and his friends and you will be able to maintain peace, safety and security of all human beings, both Muslims and non-Muslims. Please don't say that zakat cannot be given to non-Muslims. Give it to the non-Muslims who are needy and give it to the Muslims who are needy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us, us all. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaman ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.